Okay, I've got some updates to share with you guys on the DIY kayak trailer that we built here on the channel a few weeks ago. I took it out last week, I've done some testing with it. It works really well, but there's definitely a few things that we've gotta add to it that I found out that I'm gonna really need in order to use this trailer. So today I'm gonna go over with you how I'm gonna add these items and upgrade this trailer and maybe it'll help you if you're building or if you built one along with me. And check this out. I picked up a camper shell for the Toyota Tacoma. So we are going to start a new build series here on the channel. I've got CBI and a few other companies sending me some stuff right now for us to build out this camper shell so we can actually camp out of a five, or we're gonna at least attempt to camp out of a five foot Toyota Tacoma bed while we go kayak camping out on Gunnersville. Y'all stick around. All right guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. First, I do wanna apologize. I didn't upload a video week before last. And then last week I actually uploaded a mountain biking video, which I know a lot of you guys didn't like cause it's not doing really great on my channel because you guys come here for the kayak stuff and the camping stuff. I am getting into the mountain biking on the side. So I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. And I had some files get corrupted when I took out the the new trolling motor and tested it out, but I will be sharing that footage with you if I can get it all up. Probably just gonna go out and reshoot all of that. The trolling motor did great, by the way, it was really awesome. But today's main goal, I wanna turn the camera around. That's why you guys are not on a tripod, as you can tell. As usual, I usually have you guys set up on a tripod and I try to do everything as good as possible. But today I wanna walk you guys around this trailer and let you know what I need to change. I don't have all the material here yet, but I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. And probably next week I'll have everything here and I'll be able to get the updates or upgrades to this trailer so it's more usable. And I'll go over that exactly what it is. But I'm also gonna hop on this camping trailer, I mean this camper build on the Toyota Tacoma, because I wanna let you guys know exactly what I've got coming for this build. And I need some input, because I wanna be able to sleep out of this five foot bed. I know it's, it's gonna, I'm five nine, so it's gonna be tight but I wanna be able to sleep out of this bed and set it up with like AC, lights, power, all that good stuff, and us be able to go out to Gunnersville with the kayak, get some good footage, sleep right out of the bed of it, and just, I don't know, just a whole bunch of stuff I wanna try. I've always wanted to do this out of the back of my Tacoma, but I thought the bed was too short. I found a really good deal on a new camper shell, so I got it on there, got it painted. I actually took it down the road. I bought it, it was actually white. I got a picture here, I'll show you. I actually picked it up from a guy. He had it color matched white to his Tacoma, but I took it to my buddies down at Alexandria Body Shop right down the road. They do amazing work. If you're in the Southeast, you've probably heard about them. They do a lot of big name cars and stuff, but they just happen to be right down the road from me. I think they've done Taylor Hicks's convertible. If I can find a picture, I'll post it up right here, but they're really great at what they do. I'll have them linked below if you got a camper shell and you're close enough and you want to get it color matched to your truck. But anyway, I've got it set up. We're going to go through exactly what I plan on doing to it. But first, I've got you guys, as you can tell, not on a tripod this week because I'm going to turn the camera around, walk you guys around the trailer, show you the issues I was having with it. Uh, it's just two issues, really, but we're going to fix that probably this week, and I'll have that video for you next week, and then we'll hop into the bed of the Tacoma, and I'll show you what my plans are, and I need a lot of input from you guys. So first, let's hop on the kayak trailer. All right, so I got the doors open to the shop, so you're probably going to hear a little bit of traffic, but if you are new here, we just built this kayak trailer. I know it looks, it, I'm not bragging, but it really does look like a factory-built trailer, but we built it here on the channel out of a really, really old boat trailer. We cut the front tongue off, uh, welded on a new tongue, added a new axle, wheels, fenders, lights, all the new stuff is added to it. It's really cool. I'll link that build video here if you missed it and you wanna check out how I built this. And I'll, in those videos where I built this, it was just two, it was a little two series, two video series build that we did on it. And there's some good coupon codes on there if you wanna pick you up some wheels or fenders and lights and stuff like that. So, but anyway, so I finally got a chance to take this out because we are testing out this new Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor. Now this is the Kayak Edition trolling motor. As you can see, there's the XI3. And this is the Kayak Edition, so it's only, I think it's a 36 inch shaft. And I'll put the video card up right here if you wanna click it and watch it on how I built it, how I got it installed, how I deploy it and stuff like that. So all of that's in a video I just done a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, I took this out 
and I'd done some testing on it because I wanted to go out and get some footage and the it was just a mess out there. My files got corrupted on two GoPros and anyway, I'll have that footage up for you soon. But I took it out, done some testing on it, went out fishing with it for a couple of hours and I noticed whenever I was coming back, well, first of all, when I got there, after I backed this trailer down in the water, I couldn't see the trailer behind the truck. Once the kayak is off the trailer, even though we've got it jacked up pretty high, I mean, this, this is pretty high off the ground, I still couldn't see the trailer. And now it's gonna be even worse because I have added that topper to the bed of the Tacoma. So now I definitely will not be able to see the trailer at all when I'm backing it up when the kayak's not on it. So I wanna add, and I hate, to add these because I always thought they looked really goofy, but I think it's gonna be necessary. I need to add some sort of poles. Like, you know, you see a lot of these guys with these boats with these smaller trailers and they've got these big PVC poles coming up. So I've got a few ideas. I'm either gonna do it out of PVC and maybe put some lights on it, or I might use those tail whip lights. If you remember when we built the camping cart, that golf cart, and I added those four foot whips, they're lights, but I don't know if they're waterproof. I'm gonna have to look into it, but I've actually got a set that I might be able to put on here. So when I'm backing down the boat ramp, you know, once you go over the boat ramp, this trailer just disappears. So it's really hard to back up like that. It's kind of a short trailer. I, even though I extended it, it's still kind of short and it turns on a dime when, it's, when I'm trying to back it up empty. So I've got to address that next week. And I've decided how I'm gonna get on and off of this thing. And I like to do it without getting wet if I can. During the summer, it's not too bad if I can just step off into the water, but it's not summer yet and the water's still really cold. So the way I got on and off of this trailer was I would pull the kayak, after I backed it into the water, empty, and I'm in my kayak, I, you know, I get back off on the pier, get on the kayak from the pier, and I pedal around. Well, I come up to this side of the trailer and I reach up and I clipped my little, I've got those bungee cords to the front of the boat, those uh, camping and kayak and paddle leashes. I've got one tied to the front of the kayak and I would clip it to the back of the trailer. Then I would step off the trailer, I mean, step off the kayak onto the side of the trailer. And then I would push the kayak out into the water and I would kind of tightrope walk these couple of little bars that I've got right here on the trailer. And then I would get it lined up with the runners that we got. You know, we made these runners out of the EMT instead of PVC. So I would stand in between these runners and then grab the nose of the kayak and pull it up on there. And whenever I backed it down, I was able to keep the top of this just underwater so that I could just grab the nose of the Hobie and then walk backwards. But as you can see, this is really wide open up under this kayak. So I've only got one bar here, one little bar here, and then one bar here. So I almost fell in the water two or three times in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> and I'm, even though it would have made for some good footage, it would have sucked for it to happen to me. So I've got some mesh, uh, the same stuff that we used on the kayak camping trailer build that we did on the walls and we built the fold down table and stuff like that. I've got some of that left and I think I don't know if I'm gonna mesh the whole floor of this. Like one objective has got some kayak trailers and I wondered why they had the mesh floor like that. And now I know why. So you can hop on the trailer, walk around on it, pull the kayak up while you're on the boat ramp with no problem. So I'm either gonna put a strip right down the center. Let's see if I can get a shot. I'm either gonna put a strip right down the center so I can just step over in between our EMT runners and walk up and down the center of it, that, that would be better than nothing. Or if I've got enough mesh, I'm just gonna mesh out. We're just gonna grind the top down, weld us mesh. I'll have to put some, you know, probably some runners across there to keep it stiff, but mesh the whole bottom of this and then paint it black. So then I've got basically a flat trailer that I can step off, walk around on, pull the kayak up. So that is the plan for the trailer. I have some of the material I've got to get a few more sticks of steel and then we'll probably do the video where I just, I'll do it in one video. We'll cut up the steel, get everything measured, weld it up, get it painted, and then we'll go test it out. All right, so now I want to talk about this camper setup that I want to do. So here is a good close up, and it looks weird on camera. It looks lighter than the color, but if you get it like a, up close to it, you can see they did a really good job paint matching this. But when you step away, for some reason, the shadows of the shell 
makes it look like this is darker and the top's lighter when you step away from it. Look at that on camera. That looks weird, but I promise it is color matched to perfection. Let me get right here so you can actually see. They did a really, really good job color matching this camper trailer or this camper topper. I've got trailer in my mind because we built so many trailers here to camp out of on the channel. But so right now what I've got coming, so you know, I've done a video a while back whenever we started this, I was calling it the Overland build series. When we were building this thing out, we did the grill, the lights, the Prinsu roof rack on the top. We've got the uh, Cali Rays lights, uh, the ditch lights, all that good stuff. But I reached out to CBI and you know, they, they also own Prinsu. They're sending me the top track rack that matches this Prinsu. So we will have a rack system that goes from the front all the way to the very back of the camper shell. And then we'll be able to store our stuff up there. The future plan is to put a clamshell rooftop tent on the top eventually. And then we'll be able to use this for storage. But first I wanna kind of build this thing out so we can camp out of it. So I've got that coming from them. I've actually ordered a new brake light. That's why that's out. Here's the, the old one. It was kind of fogged up. So I took it out. I've got it ordered. We're gonna get that replaced soon, but look how good that paint job looks. They did an amazing job on this thing. So it is the ARE, I think it's the V series. So what I like about this top is it's only got the one handle in the middle. You know, a lot of the Lears that I've had over time, you had two and you had to go to both sides. This one's got the one lock in the middle. Dang, I've actually got it locked. Hold on, <laughs> let me get the keys. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, and that's a good thing about this because I can actually lock it up. And if you've got a Tacoma, you know that these shells are really hard to find right now. Is that the right key? Yeah. They're really hard to get a hold of right now, but what's cool about them is you think this is the top of the actual tailgate, but it's not. It's actually part of the topper because it seals up perfectly on this truck. This thing is just, I mean, it's made to fit the truck, so it should seal up great, huh? But it opens up, it's got good struts in it, but it is bare bones right now. As you can see, I've done nothing to it. We've got our Billy bars. Uh, I can't remember what they call that. It's the tailgate cover or whatever. It's got the cup holders and stuff in it. I love this thing, but I'm gonna add something in here. I'm probably going to take the uh, fridge slide out and set it up in the back seats, fold the seats down because this just takes up way too much space in here. I don't wanna have a cot and then this big old fridge sitting right beside me. Even though I love that fridge, we might have to move it to the back seat so we've got more room. But what I wanna do is I wanna add some lights. I wanna add a bed on one side, just something I can sleep on. This is gonna be just a solo camper. My wife and I, she's definitely not gonna wanna get back here and sleep in this thing with me. But I'm gonna reach out to Flated. Uh, if you watched my recent video where I did the five must-haves for overlanding, uh, I did a, a little bit on their, uh, what was it, their flated carrier, their flated air carrier. I've actually got it in storage up there right now, but they also make these beds. I think, I can't remember exactly what they call them. I'll have to look them up. I'll put it right here on the screen, but they're, flat, they're inflatable beds and they've got them that will do the whole bed of your truck that you can sleep on. And they've also got the part, you know, the half side. So I could set up just a one cot style over here. But what's really cool about them is they're inflatable. So you can pump them up just like a paddle board stick it back here, sleep on it. And then when I'm done, I can deflate it, put it back in its bag and then, you know, pack up and have more room back here when I'm traveling back and forth to the campsite, to the river or wherever we camp at. But one of the first things I wanna do is this sucks. These ribs, like the main reason we got, we went with this belly, Billy Bar tailgate cover is to get rid of these ribs because these will kill your kneecaps. And I'm getting pretty old and they're, they hurt. So. My main, my original plan was to get the bed rugs bed liner where I've had it in my old Duramax. They actually cover the walls, the floor and the sides. But if I do that, I'm gonna lose access to my 110 outlets, my lights and stuff that is in the side. So what I think I'm gonna do, and I'll do it here on the channel with you guys, I got enough carpet left over from the trailer build, that marine gray carpet. I think I'm gonna cut wood the exact size of my floor 
we'll carpet it and just slide it back here and make it you know nice i also want to be able to haul my bike back here and stuff like that so that'll give us a nice big carpeted floor and then we can move on to the cooler stuff adding the cot you know inflated makes one this short i don't know if they do i'll have to find out but if they make one short enough to go into the side of this five foot bed we'll go with it if not i'll just make one you know we can build one carpet it make it nice put some drawer systems up under it make it where we still got room over here but I've been on YouTube guys watching so many videos of how these guys are doing it and there's so many people that camp out of their camper shell on their truck but there are very few that attempt to do it out of a five foot bed. These beds are absolutely tiny on these Tacomas. I mean they are absolutely tiny but I think it's doable. I think we can do it. I did see one or two guys on YouTube that were doing it and they had to sleep kind of at an angle. I don't know if we'll have to do that. I might have to just assume the fetal position on a cot right here, but I think it's doable. So I also want to put a headliner up in here. As you can see, mine does not have the headliner. It's just the white fiberglass that's showing. So I want to do the headliner all the way around the top. Just make it really cool, make it functional, make it so I can put our Zero Breeze AC in it. I've got it over there. I did a review on that in the same video we did the air, uh, the flated air topper and we'll be able to have AC in the back of this thing while we're camping without running the truck. So give me some ideas. If you're interested in seeing this build series and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna try to pimp this thing out and make it really cool. I want it to be stealth so nobody knows that I've got a camper back here. I wanna be able to drive to work still and it not look like I'm hauling around like the clampets on the bed of my truck. So that is the plan coming up. Uh, the next few videos, we're gonna tackle the two main issues, the poles in the back of the trailer and adding the wire mesh to the bottom so we can walk around on it and I don't bust my butt and look like an idiot in front of a bunch of strangers. Then we're gonna hop over and I'm gonna start working on this camper build. I am gonna trickle in some videos. It's summertime now, so I'm definitely gonna be doing a tournament series with you guys, I promise. Just stick around, I'm gonna do some kayak fishing. I know a lot of you guys are hitting me up, hey, where's the kayak fishing videos? They're coming. Between work and my daughter getting ready to graduate, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm gonna get on it, I promise, guys. But we're gonna have a blast building out this camper shell. I think I can add a lot of cool stuff to it, make it really functional, and then do some really serious trips far away, pulling the new trailer behind it with the Hobie on it, doing some really cool stuff. We're gonna be testing out that, where's it at? that Motor Guide XI3, I absolutely love it. If you follow me on Instagram, the day that I took it out and done some testing, I actually uploaded some clips. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I'm at Kayak USA on Instagram, follow me there. I upload live when I'm there out on the water so you get to see some kind of behind the scenes footage of stuff when I'm actually out testing out these products. Stick around for the build series. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you, uh, you subscribe to the channel. I upload every Thursday at two o'clock minus week before last, I apologize. That was the first time I didn't upload on a Thursday in a year and a half. So gotta cut me some slack. I promise I'm gonna get back up to regular uploads. We're gonna do some DIY stuff this summer, do some camping, do some mods and do some fishing. So y'all stick around for that and I'll catch you guys next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.